All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to you. I came out there that's pushing this truth and truth sincerity, man. All right, here it is. So called Sunday, November the 3rd, 2019. We know you Negroes, is, after you get done going to the church, get ready to get them goddamn crack filled. Popeye's chicken sandwiches, man. All right, our people destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And like I said, it's a Sunday. If you still go to the Christian church, shame on you, man. You black Christians, you need to watch Goodbye Uncle Tom. Okay. Basically, you're a reincarnated slave back in 2019, man. All right. And when you go to these churches, you worship the sun, you worship Tammuz. You worship Chetre Borgia, okay, white Jesus. In the Bible, because you Negroes don't read, it says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me in the Ten Commandments. In Exodus 23, it says, Make no mention of other gods. But you Negroes go to church. But you Negroes don't even go to church, man. A lot of you listen to that God awful gospel music, and then you think that's being holy. The past seven days, you was being a complete demon, man. All right. <clears throat> so we've been warning you, man. You had brothers yesterday warning you. you. Probably got brothers going out there today to warn you. There's no excuse, man. There's no excuse not to get this truth, man. The truth, according to the Bible, is you're God's chosen people. You're not a you're not a Gentile. You're not a Canaanite. Because I like to say that scripture in church. Curse be Canaan. That's what the white man likes to teach you, Negroes. All right. You guys, chosen people, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Pastor Porkchop, Pastor Sleep With Your Woman, is not going to tell you that, man. It's going to tell you Jesus wept, God is good all the time, okay? So you can hurry up and get your ass out of there. He can get his payday, so he can go hurry up and get his ass a Popeye's chicken sandwich, okay? All right? But, uh, like I said, for you black Christians, man... You're delusional because first of all you don't even read you have a slave mentality the white man told you not to read and you don't read and when we tell you all right because the, the scriptures say uh in john 4 and 44 that prophet no have no honor amongst his people man all right just because we don't have the uh 300 steve harvey d and k suits and the stacy adams and, and, and the hat to match doesn't mean we don't have the truth but Negroes just go according to appearance, man. All right? So here it is, another warning. Lord willing, we'll be out there next week to warn you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the impending doom coming to God, your God-blessed uh, America when it's actually God-forsaken. All right? And the black church is big. It is, is, a, is a boarding house for homosexuality, transgenderism, pedophilia. Okay? Laundering. The black church is made, from what I heard, the last report was uh, around $420 billion, all right? They could have used that to build a schools for you Negroes, but you go to the white man's schools. This is a white man's school right here, all right? They could have they could have fixed crack in the neighborhood. Your favorite pastor could have fixed homelessness. Your favorite pastor could have built jobs for you so-called Negroes, but you go to the white man, okay? You're trusting in the shadow of Egypt, man. All right, and trusting in the statue of Egypt is going to get you death. See, that's the capital of Georgia right here. This godforsaken place, you know. But uh, like I said, it's Sunday. You got a choice between good and evil, all right? And like I said, you're going to worship these other gods. That's why our people are all bugged the hell out. That's why you're getting shot down in the streets. Your pastor saying the law is done away with, all right? It tells you. In the Bible, if you don't obey the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father, there's consequences for it. That's why you get shot down the streets. That's why you got gout, diabetes, high blood pressure. All right? Your woman is against you. Your woman really wants to be the man and wear the pants of the house. All right? Our men are effeminate and are homosexuals, man, but they love going to that Christian church and hearing that old singing dance and jumping jacks, man. All right? You niggas are monkeys, man. All right? You black Christians... Even these other camps, like Sakari had went to the church where uh, uh, both them Gene went to, and they were they were just you know 
Negroes love to disagree. And, and Sakari, he actually broke down the scriptures and broke it down to a T that Romans 9, that God does hate. And he hates Esau, the so-called white man, the man that you love so much. But our, our people have Stockholm Syndrome and they, they can't accept the fact that this devil is going into slavery, man. All right. So like I said, we keep warning you people, man, but warning is going to stop. The, the scriptures say that the Lord is, is, is going to... Uh, uh, let go of the peace that he's holding For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for, for being rebellious And he's gonna cry like a travailing woman, man So, hey Once again, another warning So you, you gotta choose cho Choice between life or death, man Alright and, and most of our people are choosing death By going to that goddamn church, man The goddamn original trap house Okay, the Christian church So with that, man, Shalom